1038. I'm going to see how fast I can do this. I can control this function generator with this laptop, and I can plot each channel separately parametrically in the oscilloscope, so I should be able to plot a cardioid. Let me see how fast I can do it. Here I go. Uh, that one's fat and ugly. Okay, some of these are looking pretty good. R is equal to that. Da, 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 da. No. Okay, here we go. We got the parametric variable. Here we define the x and y functions relative to the parametric variable. Uh, and I gotta kind of like normalize it around for the weird analog voltage levels. 4 to 95, that's 2 to the power of 12 minus 1. No, that's not right. There's not enough heart. This is just the piece of the heart. Of course, I, I had, what am I, I think I'm in revolutions or something? I had T range from 0 to 1. Obviously, I need that to go from 0 to 2 pi to get the whole range or domain or whatever. Okay, it's 1113. Um, program's fixed. Uh, all right, let's check it out. So, function generator, when you just turn it on, just has some sine waves in the memory. Yeah, we don't just want those generic sine waves. We want the cardioid parametric functions that I just programmed into that file in Python. All right, so I'm going to run the little script I wrote. It's going to run the interface with the function generator. We'll hear the function generator beep as it loads up the waves. There's y of t, there's x of t, let me see you can check them both out, yay, and then back to parametric.